New for you tonight, the Red River Valley SWAT team recently announced they have a new tactical commander. Lieutenant Matthew Christensen is stepping into the role. Valley News team's Kiersey Madej introduces us to him and tells us what's next. We're not superheroes. We're not anything like that. We are uh, we're police officers that have taken on a, uh, an extra role, an extra responsibility, more time, added training. Lieutenant Allfelt was the longest serving Red River Valley SWAT team commander, spending the last seven years in the role. But he was part of the team for years before that. And in that time, he's seen a lot of changes from their day to day activities. What I saw was a change in what we responded to. To his new role as a captain. Also taking on new leadership roles include Lieutenant Matthew Christensen as a tactical commander and Sergeant Craig Danielson as the new assistant commander, both of which already have big plans for the future. We're starting to do some of those things that are more proactive rather than reactive, and that's kind of a new trend for SWAT and a new trend for our team. All felt is credited by many with revolutionizing training for the Red River Valley SWAT, as well as adding protective equipment for the team, like the armored skid steer. When I took over, the kind of the goal was just to continue to progress the team. Um, we were in a great place uh, with Captain Alpha. The Red River Valley SWAT team is made up of officers, deputies, and medics from throughout the Fargo-Moorhead Metro. They all feel honored to be a part of the team, and they're excited for the future. Serve our community in, in some of the most dangerous situations, which is, which is an honor for me, and I feel very lucky with the, with the team that we currently have. In Fargo, Kirstie Madej, Valley News Live.